Hey guys, what's happening? Me and Will here hanging out with Zero and East. And we just got done watching the Smash 4 finals. I just want to say real quick, Zero, congratulations. And East, welcome back. <laughs> So guys, just walk me through what you're going through up there. You know, sit on stage. You know, you got your your final four in front of this huge crowd. I don't know if you guys got to see the crowd or look behind and it. And thousands all, of people online. A ton of people watching, guys. Just what's going through your mind? Um. Well, you know, for for the few years that I've been like topping like Smash majors with a uh, brawl in Smash Four, like I've never felt a crowd this big. Like I was it. I top eight at Evo. Like I think people wise, it was bigger at Evo. But for some reason, this crowd just felt louder and stronger and bigger. I don't know. Like, do you, do you feel the same way? Uh, I think it was bigger than Evo, yeah. yeah. So it, was, it was nuts. It was, it was really cool. I mean, but you do kind of drown the crowd out a little bit when you're playing. Because it's just like, you know, no matter how hyped they're getting for my combos or his, you know, kills and stuff, like, you have to keep it together. You can't play it in the crowd that much, you know? Right. Zero, do you have anything to add to that? Well, I mean, it's like, you have to like, I mean, this is part of the job. You have to be used to the people. And regardless of how many people, for example, at Evo, we had like thousands of people watching. We had 100,000 people watching online. That's like a lot of people seeing what you're doing. That's like, it's part of the job. You have to be used to it. Yeah, a lot of, lot of pressure going on there. I mean, the, the crowd was responding to everything you guys were doing. I know you're feeling that when you're playing. Does it add that extra sense of pressure? Do you change how you're playing? Do you get more nervous? I think I play better. Yeah? Yeah. Under the pressure? You play better? Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, I mean, the thing is, like, I play characters that everyone always loves, like I have throughout the game, so I feel like I'm always like a crowd favorite, so I'm like used to people chanting for me. I'm not really trying to go extra hard for them, because I know like regardless of anything I'll do, they'll be like, oh my god, so. Very humble answer, you say. <laughs> yeah, very humble. I, that's, yeah, that's my worst trait, is I'm so humble. <laughs> I just wanted to ask real quick, what's the, what was the decision to go Yoshi for the second game? Uh, um, well, I've been picking up Yoshi for a while, uh, and I think he's a really, really, really good character. And then like 30 seconds into the game, I'm like, wait a minute, Zero lives with one of the best Yoshis in the country. This was a bad choice, but I still did pretty good, so I'm happy about that. I was gonna ask you, was that a bad choice? Did that throw you at all? Did you, was that surprising at all when he picked Yoshi? Yoshi's one of the characters I know how to fight the best, so I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, cool, bring me. Bring I was it. looking at you on camera, you kept raising your eyebrows. <laughs> no, he literally said, um, like I picked Yoshi and I like pressed start and, and I clicked bottom, he was like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. He's like, okay. Just going for it. That was, that, that was my entire reaction. It didn't go through more than that. And you haven't lost a game for a while. Did were, did you get nervous even the match before the finals where you guys took two games from zero? Did you start to feel that a little bit? I mean, the intensity is always there. I will be a liar if I told you, you know, it wasn't an, an intense moment to be a part of. But the important thing as a competitor is to just, you know, regardless of what you're going through, you have to, you know, do your best. And I think that's, that's what I try to do. Sure. And I know exactly. you were feeling that anxiety too when you took those first two games. The two was, that was a crazy set. That was that was some of the most fun Smash War I've ever played. That was really good. I think even against everything, when you took that game, everyone kind of turned around and was like, ooh. Well, yeah, there you go. It was like the, that was the eye popping moment. I was like, oh my god, zero in that. It can actually happen. Is your can actually lose? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then it was last stock, last hit. So both of us are like, oh my god, oh my god. You know, I'm you know I'm thinking, oh my god, I can beat zero. He's like, oh man, I might lose. So it's just like. Just heartbeat. Uh, awesome. Now, Zero, you haven't lost a tournament yet, right? Uh, this is my 47th win in a row. <laughs> How about that? That's, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do you feel the pressure of keeping that streak going? Uh, not really. It's just, I just, I just go. Okay. The thing is that I don't, I don't go around with all my medals and all my trophies, like be like, okay, this is what I do. I try. To, I'm very like on the moment, guys. So it's like, I just, I literally take every tournament like a staircase, like a step by step. So it's like. What, matter, what, what happened before, it doesn't matter to this moment. It's, it's only just this. Especially because some people grow. So like, you know, some people, like let's say Nakat, for example, he, you know, at the beginning of the game, he was a really, he was considered one of the strongest players. Then CEO rolls around 33rd, Evo 33rd. And so, you know, I came in thinking he was gonna get, you know, like 25th, 17th best, and then he top eighted. So it was like, you can't really think about what happened before. You have to just be like, okay, every, like you have to respect every single one of your opponents. Like I would rather, win a game without getting hit than accidentally lose a game because I stopped trying. Yeah, yeah I mean, and, and shout out to Justin for SmashCon, Gimmer for, from VG Bootcamp. What do you guys think of SmashCon overall? I really like SmashCon. Um, <laughs> my biggest gripe with the tournament, and actually the event, not even the tournament, the event, 
Or the bathrooms. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the bathrooms were trash. Like I, that's I, weird. We had Kayla on here earlier. No, He's like, the bathrooms are so on, clean. This is this is <laughs> really this is really important right here. This is my biggest gripe. You know, I, I hated that every time I went to the bathroom. So you go to the bathroom, right? One of there's only th three toilets. We have like thousands of people. No. Depends on which side. No, but hold on, but hold on, that one over there. And then you go there. One of them is not working. The other one has like a huge crack where you can like stick your hand. So you can't do anything on that bathroom because you're being watched by everybody because there's a line. So I don't want to do anything on that bathroom. There's only one bathroom. So you all go to the bathroom. You wait 30 minutes to get to the bathroom. And then you finally sit. And it's like, okay, no. And then the other bathroom was a little nicer. But uh, but people, I think people figure out that was the bathroom to go to. So then it stopped being a secret. I was like, ah, this sucks. So if you ever want to host a Smash tournament, for all you good tournament bathroom. hosters out there, but this is from some of the best smashers in the world. Have a good bathroom. It's weird. I didn't think coming onto this set with Zero, the be most honest, adamant thing he'd be about is the bathroom. To be, to be well, honest, if you want me to go to your tournament regularly, like a local or something, have a good bathroom and have a lot of setups for friendly. No. Also, one thing, one thing about the bathrooms that was really good, the hand dry. Like first off, they needed some paper towels, but the hand dryers were hot. So you didn't go to the bathroom, wash your hands, and then like walk out with cold hands. That was really, really good. This is taking. What? This okay, is taking a that turn. That one only. The other one was like negative 40. Okay, so anyway, we should probably stop talking about bathrooms. Anyway, any, any last questions, Will, before we get out of here? No, I'm good. You guys did a great job. Zero congratulations, man. Anything you guys want to plug before we get out? Uh, shout out to my sponsor, Panda Global. Uh, you're welcome for representing you. Uh, hopefully, I continue to do well and you guys get, you know, super famous and stuff. Well, <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> oh my God. Shout out to Team Solomate that recently picked me up. And, you know, it was a big thing for them because. Smash 4 is like a growing kind of like game in the esports scene and Melee is more established so they, they they take a risk by picking up Smash 4 player and they gave me a chance to represent their brand and you know they're a very prestigious team so I'm really glad that you know the first major that I go represented them I managed to win so you know shout outs to Reginald shout outs to Lena for believing in, in the Smash scene in general picking up players from two scenes that's big you know because a lot of other teams you know they were like really iffy and they didn't really want to take the risk because you know they don't they, they don't care about that but TSM was like you know what we care and we see the value in this player so obviously shout out to Team Solomon. Awesome. Well thanks guys thanks for joining us again congratulations East Sam. Oh, one more thing from Zero. Shout out to my girlfriend for being the only person in the crowd screaming my name. Go the go she's the go. She, she's my motivation to win all this. All right, things. all right. Well, yeah, zero, congratulations on winning the whole thing. Make sure you stick with Press Start TV for all things Super Smash Con, all the player interviews, all the commentary interviews, everything is on Press Start TV.